Hey everyone, uh, this review's happening a little bit later than normal, but uh, today we're going to be reviewing the Cheesy Gordita Crunch at Taco Bell. Looking at the packaging, it it's labeled the five layer burrito. I really hope that's not it, because it's certainly not what I ordered. Oh, no. Upon inspection, it's looking like... Yep, this is in fact the, the cheesy gordita crunch. And as a bonus, uh, Nikhil also wanted me to get the Baja Blast, uh, just in addition with this, with this review. But I can't have the Baja Blast because it's Mountain Dew and it's got you know caffeine in it and whatnot. So I got the uh, the Blue Raspberry Airhead freezer as a as a substitute. Some of that. Yeah, very interesting. Tastes a lot like Airheads. Um, it's like they took whatever syrup that they used to flavor Airheads and just put that into crushed ice, which is yeah, this is this is pretty good. Um, it's also let me confirm this. So I don't know if you guys have an like an icy before, but it's not just like syrup and ice. It's also you know sort of acidic and tastes kind of carbonated. And I was wondering if this would capture that, and it really does. So I'd say this Airheads drink pretty good. A, a little a little too sweet, um, but you know if, if that doesn't bother you, you know it, it, it tastes sweeter than an icy. So I'll, I'll give this a, give that a seven out of ten. It's pretty good. I, I like that. Let's break into this. This thing. Oh boy. Here it is. It looks like we got some cheese. I, I ordered this with chicken just because uh, it normally comes with beef, but you know, I'm not going to be mixing milk and meat for that. It looks like the, yeah, the inner layer of the taco, that's supposed to be like cheesed to, this looks like a pita. I think this is a pita. Yeah, interesting. Let's see how it tastes though. And oh, thanks Justin. Uh, I, I hope these are helpful. Okay. So it's got, it's got an interesting sauce in there. I don't know if you can see it. Let me try to focus this a bit. I think it's their uh, Spicy ranch sauce. Uh, that's, that's what they call it. And that, that sauce is pretty good. Um, you know, it's a little bit spicy, decent amount of savoriness to it. So it really adds quite a bit to this. I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about the like hard shell taco inside of a pita. That to me is a little bit iffy, but the sauce is pretty good. Yeah. Like, I, I got, like, no sauce in that bite, and that wasn't, you know, exactly what I'm looking for from this. But let's, let's try another one. Yeah. I think I, I, think I like this actually better than their, their Doritos Locos Taco and their Stacker. All right. This is pretty good. I'm, I'm giving this an eight out of ten. Like, very quality. I think for what you're getting, like for the, for these two things combined, plus the substitution, I only paid like seven dollars. You know, I, I got more food with the box, but it certainly was not as good as as this. You know, I would probably just get two of these instead of like the big box. So. Yeah, I think that about wraps up this review. Uh, next week, Passover is starting, so I'm going to have a lot of exciting Passover content to continue the theme of me eating terrible food that other people want to know about. 
So if you guys have any suggestions for what I should do for that, any specific Passover products you want reviewed, just let me know and I'll get back to it. Thanks for tuning in, everyone.